Yeah, and I was very impressed by the number of fans. And, you know, we went up the stands for a little bit and sat and talked to people for a bit. And I think you were actually in the row when we were up there talking. Um, so, you know, we got, a, we got a, a really good feel of the culture and the atmosphere. And, you know, we're very impressed by the execution of, you know, the game day operations. And so now my next question goes back, and it really has very little to do with umpires and officiating, but what drove you guys to play here? What, is, what did you like about Jamestown and this culture that, you know, brought you guys here to play and brought you guys here to coach. College, our college coach at Princeton, he had um, offered it up to us, like, do you guys want to play summer ball? And of course, like, yeah, we did. And he was like, all right, well, I have this place. Like, do you want to go play for the Jamestown Tark Skunks? And at first, you're kind of like, <clears throat> kind of like, what? But, and then you're like, yeah, let's go do it. And um, I don't know, I love it here. A lot of, a lot of fans are like really, really passionate about it and uh, play every day. And, I don't know. It's been great. Do you guys sign? Are you signing autographs? He gets to sign a lot of autographs. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same situation as Tommy. Our coach at Princeton offered up the the, uh, the opportunity to us, and uh, I jumped at it immediately. As you know, I wanted to play summer ball. I've never been away from home before, so this is my first time doing that, which has been a great experience. And also, I think it helps a lot, like you know, having like, such like, a sense of community around us. Like we'll go out, and, you know, we'll go to restaurants and we wear out. Touchdowns, many people recognize us and say say nice things to us, and they try to make you feel as at home as possible because you know they they know that we're here for a summer, maybe more if we're coming back next year, maybe. But um, you know, I've had a great time being here. I would love to come back. It's been a great summer, and it's the the fans and everybody around us has been uh, very awesome. supportive, very helpful. Awesome. Jordan and I met four five years ago. He was uh, on my way. At uh, Patrick came to um, uh, college and um, we got together and I guess bonded and formed a relationship. I got to know George here. Uh, I worked during the year with the Phillies as a scout. Uh, and then when I had an opportunity to come up here, uh, basically for summer work, scout these players and get a chance to, and I love being hands-on with the guys, getting a chance to know the guys. So it's, uh, and, and it's a place that uh, I tell my wife that it's just a great place, awesome. Great people, great facilities. So from a baseball standpoint, it's great. It's a minor league atmosphere. Uh, and I do feel like Jamestown is one of the top programs in this league. So it's a great place to come. We uh, this year found two or three players that may have the ability to move on and play professional baseball. So it's been fulfilling all around. Original involvement happened at Starbucks with Greg Peterson. And uh, he was talking about putting the uh, the ownership team together to be a local ownership team and uh, he asked if I would work uh, with them on uh, what happens on the field and uh, for those who are from Jamestown they know that you don't say no to Greg Peterson <laughs> so that's how it happened. Now I know that too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know I think that the the opportunity to work with these guys um, is uh, is awesome because at at a young age being able to understand how the mind-body connection works, how to manage uh, your mind to body and body to mind triggers, looking at managing nutrition, energy cycles, repair, recovery, resiliency, all of those things. Uh, I think it's real important at, at the early stages of these guys' careers, because these guys are going somewhere. And uh, when they get up to the, uh, to the higher levels, these are the kinds of things that um, maybe won't be taught at the higher level, but, but they can take these things with them. So it's, it's awesome to be part of this uh, at, at this level. Uh, one of the best was there was a day where kids got to skip school and come see us play. And so there were like 2,000 kids there and just screaming the whole time. And it was kind of like half and half. Like half the players were like, this is my worst nightmare. Like, just give me a headache. But like, I, that was awesome. Like, that was so much fun. And I don't know, I've signed like a million autographs this summer, <laughs> which is like kind of crazy because I don't feel like I'm like, why would they want my autograph? But, you know, they really look up to you and it really matters. Mm -hmm. So it's been really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same with Tommy. I think the kids' day was awesome, but I've had some, uh, some pretty cool experiences just with the fans. Like, you know, we've gone to the Boys and Girls Club um, and stuff like that. And you see those kids at the games uh, the next day and they ask you for pictures and stuff like that. And, it really makes you understand that, like, you know, no matter how you're playing and no matter how you feel like you're doing it, the kids look up to you here. And, 
Um, you know, sometimes it'll take us, you know, we probably have like a 100 foot walk back to our locker room, but sometimes it'll take you 15 or 20 minutes just to get there because of the pictures and the autographs. And that's a really cool feeling that, uh, just to know that the kids look up to you and whatnot. Um, and I think, like you said, that, you know, a negative experience that I've had is just, I've, you know, I've had a game where I probably had, you know, two or three strikeouts. And the same thing, I go, I'm walking back to the locker room, kids look up to you, they want to ask you for a picture. They don't really, you know, it doesn't matter to them whether you strike out or not, you're a, you're a player to them. And um, just knowing that you have that kind of support from the people, uh, that they care about you and they, they, want, they want to see you do well, no matter how you're doing on the field, uh, that, that's a great feeling to have. Um, from my standpoint, I'd have to also say this involves the kids. I know before the game, a number of the games, the kids come out on the field and they toss with the players. And, you know, just to, just to see the look on their face, they're on the field. And they look up to these guys uh, as though they were big leaders, which they may be one day. Hopefully they will. But uh, so that's, that's uh, that means a lot. I like to give. I, like to, I feel like uh, that I'm a giver, so to speak. And, uh, and these guys come out on the field, I tell them all, you know, hey, you may play here one day. This may inspire somebody to, uh, you know, take up baseball. And if you're on baseball, you're not on the street and other activities. Uh, being older, I run into individuals that, and the first thing they will say is, you talk for me. You know, you're not from down south. I take that. Uh, but just to listen to the history here and to know about the history. I was a scout in 85 to 95, and this league was a professional league, the New York Penn League. Mm -hmm. And a number of players have moved on, so usually in a conversation with someone with gray hair or older, uh, it'll be brought up. So the relationships on and off the field with you know, some of the people my age and then with, it's just, uh, I don't see any negative. Anybody else want to add to that? Hey, let me uh, hear a personal story. Uh, okay. This was a uh, the George Carlin, and Jordan inspired what you had an uh, opportunity to do, which is a bench coach. I'm very bad boy, bad girl, and so I had my nephew and his three children, and uh, one was a girl and two were guys, and they one day got out there early and they were, you know, throwing a little the ball at the players. The players were throwing the ball back. It was really wonderful. But one of the girls came up, wanted a picture with Jake, and you know, so I. She, of course, you gotta grab this picture because she's just beaming. Next thing you know, she turns around and gives him the biggest hug <laughs> in the world as if it was Uncle Jake. You know? <laughs> and so, Jake, the response was even better Did you get the picture? <laughs> <laughs> I sent it to my mother. <laughs> I, I don't know whether they had a girlfriend or not. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> and then, subsequently, the postscript this is all little small town Jake said is Miami, and I think your grandparents were there, all became, all came, and now you got a chance to meet them. So it became more than just a guy who's, you know, playing, it became a person, and he's now, to, he was kind enough to my niece, and, the, and now the parents and the grandparents think this is all kind of wonderful, small town America, and it is.